So for my presentation, I had a grid movement. But before we begin, what exactly is a game mechanic? A game mechanic is basically a group of rules that are designed to help the players interact with the board game. An example of a couple examples of those would be dice rolling, as you can see, used with Yasi. Uh, we have tile placement, which is used commonly with the common game Blockus, and my topic, grid movement. Um, but what is grid movement? Grid movement is moving your pawn or a, an object on the board in countless directions on the game board. Um, three examples of that would be the board game element, the game 18 ghosts, and the, common known, the commonly known game chess. This is the board game element. Um, it was created in 1997 by Mike Ritchie, and the object of the game is to trap a specific target on the board using the four elements, fire, water, earth, and air, um, and your player is, should not be able to move at all. You can combine the elements to create specific like traps. As you can see here, they used a river to trap the opponent. Um, you had a whirlwind here, uh, a mountain up there, and these are the specific pawns that you can use throughout the game. The next game is the game 18 Ghosts. Uh, when I started this, I had never heard of the game, but going through, I actually find this pretty interesting. It was created in 2010 by Michael Reinick, and the object of the game is to help your ghost pawn reach their portal. And you have to move your ghost to the portal, which is right here. And you can use, like, like you have to try to move it around without hitting your other opponents. And finally, we have the common game known as chess. It was created in 1475. No one truly knows who created it, but it's been a game that's still alive to this day. And the object of the game is to remove your opponent's king from the board first. And you are armed with a knight, queen, rook, pawn, and bishop. And I actually went a little bit further to show how each player is allowed to move their specific thing. So first here you have the knight. The knight can move either one space forward and one space to the left, or one space forward, one space to the right, or one space forward and two spaces to the left or right, and vice versa on the other side. Uh, then you have Pawn, who can move one space forward only unless there's another opponent nearby, whereas then they can move diagonal and take the opponent. Then you have the, oh, this is the Bishop, who can, no, this is the King sorry, who can move in one space in any direction. Then you have the queen, who can move in any direction on a straight or diagonal path. Then you have the rook, who can move one to seven squares forward, backwards, left or right. And finally, we have the bishop, who can move in any direction diagonally, so long as another piece isn't obstructing its path. In conclusion, while a lot of board games nowadays don't typically involve grid movement as much and involve a lot more simpler game mechanics, I believe that grid, grid movement is still very much alive to this day as it was years and years ago. Thank you.